Good morning. Great to see you all here in person. I imagine that there are a lot of Amgen alumni here and familiar faces, but I will tell you it's hard to know with everybody wearing the mask, but I'm really excited to be here. I too will also be short because I do want everybody to enjoy the day, to see the new innovation, and I couldn't agree more with Chancellor Bach about the innovation that's happening here at UCLA in the LA ecosystem. We do have all of the necessary ingredients that it takes to create a cluster, a cluster that can be dynamic, that can inspire people to do more and create new opportunities. What are those ingredients? The academic universities, the institutions, the people, the companies, and the venture capital. And we also have the real estate, as he mentioned. Those are really important. It's those ingredients that come together that create the chemistry for the art of the possible. But what's really exciting about all of us coming together here today is we are here because we all believe in science, we all believe in innovation, and we all believe in working together and coming together to transform patients' lives. That's pretty remarkable. And I'm excited to be a part of that ecosystem. In fact, Amgen, we're 42 years old. Our roots are steeped in the LA area. They're steeped with UCLA. Some of our founders were from UCLA. We continue to recruit talent from this area to bring in that innovation and those people and those ideas into Amgen. And it's a virtuous circle. The fact that we are bringing more companies into the region, we've got venture money coming in, new companies that are being created, that fosters even more innovation. It's a nice circle and a nice environment to be able to create new ideas. What's also really amazing to see about LA Best in particular, we've been going on for four years, and it's the tremendous growth with just people wanting to come together at this forum. It speaks to the desire and the demand for there to be a local town square, if you will, to be able to cross-pollinate on ideas. Our attendees, I think there's been a double doubling of the number of registrants and attendees in the four years here. Sponsors, fourfold, almost fourfold increase. That's, again, really remarkable to see. So um, how else do does Amgen, let me just speak a little bit about how Amgen plays in the local ecosystem, because it is steeped in innovation, yes, but there are other ways to create the virtuous circle, if you will. How can you, one, continue to attract talent? So Amgen will sponsor activities with the academic institutions to bring in that next generation. What do I mean by that? We team up with colleges. We team up with the high schools. How can we continue to attract talent into biotech? That's really important. The startup community is thriving here. Amgen works with companies. We uh, sponsor golden tickets to be able to provide lab space to new companies, to, to new emerging companies, so they can uh, get their footing. Last year, we issued two tickets, and we will be doing our third ticket in the next year. We work with all of the research, collaborate, um, research universities here and collaborate. Since 2018, we've signed over 30 research collaborations with UCLA, Caltech, and USC. We collaborate with the private companies, Atara, Arrowhead, Zencore, and many others that are in the area. That, again, fosters the, the partnership of innovation and new ideas. So with that, I hope that you enjoy the day. It's really important for all of us to come together and share ideas and lead the way for new science and new innovation for the future. Thank you. Thank you, Roshna and Amgen. We appreciate your support and we're glad you're here today. We are very excited now to welcome Vishesh Anand, the West Side Representative for Los Angeles Mayor Garcetti's office. Vishesh, come on up. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Vishesh Anand, and I'm the West Area Representative for Mayor Eric Garcetti. Uh, what that means is I represent and oversee the West Side of Los Angeles, including this iconic neighborhood, Westwood, that we're in today. Um, and it's a true honor to be serving the Westwood community because um, I am a UCLA alum. And so um, it's always great to be back here at this amazing institution. Um, and this is way better than a Zoom screen. I'm not staring at black boxes with initials. So 
um, it was definitely worth the drive. Um, anyway, I'm here today uh, on behalf of Mayor Eric Garcetti um, to present a certificate of recognition. Um, so I would love to have the LA Best team up on stage. Um, this is a certificate of recognition um, to the UCLA Technolo Technology Development Group um, for putting on this amazing event that's going to be highlighting some of the trailblazing research that we're going to be seeing today and some amazing startups. Um, and Mayor Eric Garcetti told me to tell you that this is what LA is about. Um, we're going to move our city and our LA uh, county as a whole together with amazing, tremendous people like you. Um, so thank you for hosting this and thank you for having a hybrid model so people can enjoy throughout the world. Thank you. Thank you. All right, another one of our innovation sponsors is Kite, a Gilead company. Based in Los Angeles, Kite is a biotech firm that's at the forefront of cancer immunotherapy. So I'd like to welcome Christopher McDonald, who is Senior Vice President of Manufacturing. Christopher, come on up. Good morning, can you hear me okay? I asked for the mic because I grew up watching uh, Phil Donahue with my mother. And I like to walk around the stage. And then if I have questions, I'm going to come out and ask you the questions. So uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today. Uh, my name is Chris McDonald. I'm the Senior Vice President of Manufacturing for Kite. Um, Chancellor Bach was saying something that triggered a memory of mine. Uh, when I, I, I joined Kite three and a half years ago, and I was building the facility that we have, and we just uh, opened up in Maryland. And then I got promoted to be the global head and uh, come to headquarters. And, one of my staff came up to me and said, oh, no, you have to move to Santa Monica. And I said, no, I get to move to Santa Monica. And so I'm super excited to be here, uh, super excited to be in, in the LA area. I uh, have had a great experience uh, with myself and my family. And so just want to say thank you. And I want to thank UCLA's Technology Development Group for allowing me and Kite to participate today in the uh, LA Best. I also have a table of Kite Associates. Could you guys all raise your hands? These people bring every day for patients. And so I want to thank all of you for what you do every day. We're now treating, and we're going to get into this, treating thousands of patients a year with CAR-Ts, giving them hope. And that's really what it's about. And, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. So again, just thank you and, and uh, appreciate the opportunity. I'm going to see if this works. Our singular focus is cell therapy to treat and potentially cure cancer. So we're dedicated to providing patients hope. And, uh, we use uh, autologous CAR-T medicines right now, and we're doing research and have a whole pipeline of, of new innovative technologies that will be coming out. Um, but we're really focused on curing cancer. It's one of the most ambitious goals of the 21st century, and it's what we all come to work for uh, every day. This is a, an interesting slide as well, because I think if you see some of our competitors in the CAR-T space, as you know, Kite is a Gilead company, and we were acquired by Gilead, but Gilead has chosen to keep us independent, which allows us to vertically integrate all the functions within our organization to make sure that we're all focused on delivering every day. And I think that gives us a competitive advantage. And I often say, I talk to commercial more today than I have in the 25 years of my experience in, in uh, biologics manufacturing. And uh, Rasha, I am a uh, Amgen alum. I had my mask on. You probably didn't recognize it. But uh, uh, yeah, I spent 10 years with Amgen. And, and I think what's interesting about um, the, the, the CAR-T industry is the materials we're making today are going to be back into a patient in, in, in days. Uh, and, and so really, that, that sense of urgency versus typically in the pharmaceutical biologics industry, what you're making often won't see a patient for two years. And so really just a, a different business model. And, and for us to be vertically integrated allows us to really focus on that and focus on the patient. Here's a global map. So uh, Kite founded in Santa Monica. And in fact, I think somebody gave a story that it was actually founded on UCLA's campus several years ago. Very small company, now a, a global organization delivering to patients globally. You can see we have three uh, facilities, and I'll talk more about those in the LA area. We also are in Oceanside, where we manufacture our viral vector. We just opened a facility in Maryland that's doing commercial manufacturing. 
and we have a commercial manufacturing uh, facility in Amsterdam, really providing global supply of, of CAR-T. So Kite is proud to be headquartered here in the LA area. We have 1,500 of our employees, which is about half of our company in this area in three sites. We have our, our uh, US headquarters in Santa Monica. We have our, what we call our research development and manufacturing center in Santa Monica. And then we have our large flagship site uh, in El Segundo that's served thousands of patients to date and, and continuing to do so. And between the three of them, we have about half of the company's population. I think some of the benefits of being in LA, we, we talk a little bit about LAX, and you wouldn't believe how important it is to have a strong airport hub like LAX so close to our commercial manufacturing facility and the logistics and complications of getting patients' material in and then back out to the patients and how important that relationship has been and how great that they've performed, especially during a global pandemic. Also, obviously, the world-class healthcare ecosystem you see on the right, City of Hope, UCLA, USC, Cedar sinai Many have participated in our clinical trials and also are what we call authorized treatment centers, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. And then last, just the talent that we've been able to attract. And if you go to any one of our facilities and you ask people where they've went to school, first we're recruiting globally, and we have people who come from all over the world, but we have so many people who've been educated right here in the LA area. And I would uh, uh, gather to believe that we have over 20 different universities represented just in our El Segundo facility. So this is the authorized treatment center. And it, the cell therapy manufacturing space is extremely complicated. And we have to have partners uh, in, in the medical community where they're collecting the white blood cells of the patients. And then they're shipping them to one of our manufacturing centers. We're, we're working our magic to genetically engineer those white blood cells, sending them back to them where then the patient is infused. And you can see on this slide, we have over 270 um, sites worldwide. And that's continuing to grow. And again, with four of them being here in the LA area. Here's our manufacturing process. And again, starting with the patient's uh, leukapheresis, ending back with them uh, infusing. And there's a bunch of complicated things in between that I'm not smart enough to tell you about. So we created a video. So I'd love to show you this video. Yeah. All right, okay.
That was a lot easier, wasn't it? Okay, this slide, and, and, and so some of you may have heard, we, uh, we recently got second line approval for Yescarta for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. With that, demand has been growing quite rapidly. And, and my job as the head of manufacturing is to make sure I can stay out ahead of that demand with capacity. And capacity for a CAR-T is so unique compared to other pharmaceutical biologics because typically you have what's called inventory, and instead what we're doing is make to order. And so we have to have that capacity in place for when the patient needs to be treated. And so you can see what we've been actively doing, and you can see the Los Angeles manufacturing facility. It's our facility in El Segundo, um, pretty stable. It's, it was our first facility, has ramped up quite a bit in recent months, but really that rock in our supply system we have our facility in Amsterdam came online about a year ago, has ramped up quite a bit. And then we just got FDA approval um, last month in uh, Maryland. And we're, we've really just started to turn that facility on. The benefit is that we've been able to increase our capacity by over 50% in the past few months to prepare and prep for this increase in demand and serve patients. So our ambition is to reach 25,000 patients by 2025. And I think if you look at just the bar graph and you can see how challenging that will be, those are not, those are uh, accumulative, by the way, versus uh, annual. So uh, when I first saw that slide, I had a bit of a heart attack, like, boy, we're, we're really scaling up quickly. But you can see in 2017, we did 21 therapies, right? And just a handful of patients. We're now doing hundreds per week. And you just saw the manufacturing process and it didn't look all that complicated. But if you think about the complications of doing that for 100 patients per week um, and just how complicated that does get. So really proud of our team. Uh, you know, again, wanted to recognize them here, a, a lot of our leaders in the front row. Um, but, but just amazing what we're able to do. And you probably heard me say patients 50 times already. I think that is the culture of Kite. When people say, what is the culture of Kite? We're really grounded in the patient. And our, our CEO, Christy Shaw, will be here uh, later uh, today to talk on a panel. She's extremely inspiring and is so patient focused and drives that into the culture of the company. Um, and, and so with that, I'm going to end with a patient video. My first symptom was a dry cough. I was diagnosed in the summer of 2018. She wasn't sure what to do, what to say. Scared, mostly. I did six rounds of Archoc chemo and finished up on Halloween. We were good to go at that point. I thought she was very strong. She's the strongest person I've ever seen. I redeveloped symptoms in May of 2019. Uh, the cough, the trouble breathing. So at that point, I called to have my CT scan to be moved to a little bit earlier. She unfortunately relapsed. She had pleural effusions where lymphoma was actually inside the lining of her lungs, and that led to her having a lot of shortness of breath. She had pain. She needed a treatment quickly. It was, it was rough. I thought she could tolerate both an auto transplant and CAR T cell therapy. She had an aggressive disease that came back early from her initial chemotherapy, and those are the people for whom auto is not ideal. She gave me the information on that there was a clinical trial available for the CAR-T. We were like, I'm all in for this. You know, if this is the way to go, this is what we're gonna do. It's, it sounded promising. When it was explained to us in depth, it sounded like something worth trying. And it was. We could just see her getting better day by day after receiving CAR-T cell therapy. She was one of those patients that responded really fast and really well. It was really visual for all of us to see her response. When I heard I was cancer free, number one, it was a big relief. I knew I felt better. Just hearing the words and knowing that it worked was just amazing. I noticed through all this how, how strong she is. My youngest graduating high school, I wanted to be there for that. My oldest son getting married. If it was two years prior to it, who knows, you know, I wouldn't have been able to attend the important parts of your kids' lives that you want to share in. Now I'm able to help them with anything. It is truly a blessing.
Okay, well, thank you. Uh, and I appreciate your attention. I appreciate you letting me speak. And uh, I really wish you all the best to the rest of the day. And, and I look forward to participating in it as well. So have a great day.